بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أحمده وصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد Dear brothers and sisters, listen to what I'm about to say very very carefully. You see, uh, we have a situation in the world and uh, in this situation people, uh, there is a umbrella, there is a situation in the world and we know what the situation is, it's spreading everywhere. I don't want to say what it's called, but we know what it's all called. It starts with the letter C, okay? And this thing is going around in the world, and I am fearful that this is what's going to happen. What is going to happen is that under the guise of this, more because they've since they've exaggerated the number of people being killed, it does not hurt anyone in such a situation where the exaggerated numbers are already there to actually begin to kill people according to those numbers under and use this smoke screen of this virus with the letter C to create something more lethal. Okay? Create something more lethal that will actually make people die quickly and through a very severe form of hypoxia and I will <clears throat> I think we need to think about especially in the Arab world listen to me dear brothers and sisters in the Arab world download this video and share it on your whatsapp telegrams Twitter because I'm telling you that if the Arab world and the Muslim world has enemies and if the numbers are exaggerated, if you understand this much, or even if you don't understand the numbers are exaggerated, but if there is a smoke screen with this letter C, okay, if there is something out there with the letter C, it's very easy to create something like that that actually is more lethal and more dangerous than what it initially started as and is around in the world. Are you listening to me? <clears throat> Look, let me start first from what the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about this. Please listen to what I am saying. And then after you listen to what our Habib Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I want you to listen to what others have said. And I want you to think about one thing, that can someone use this C-lettered, phenomenon that's happening in the world to hurt the Muslims. Can somebody do that if they want to do that? And if they want, if they can do that, then the chances are that they will do that if it is to their advantage. Okay? Now listen to what I'm saying. Let me show you what our beloved Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. The Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I have the original text of this, but I don't want to uh, go there right now. Okay, I have the original text in the in the in the the Kitab al Fitan of Nu'aim bin Hamad. Okay, the Kitab al Fitan of Nu'aim bin Hamad, and in this this hadith is there. It's in other places also. The Prophet said, "Sallallahu alaihi wasallam," that بين يدي الساعة موتان. Before the hour, there will be two things that will kill you. How will they kill you? Ya fikum. They will take you Okay? They will take you like the hypoxia, like the suffocating that you see the, the animals when they die, when they're suffocating. That's how you will be killed. Now, we all know that how do people die with this C thing out there with lack of oxygen called hypoxia. But what is happening now Okay, what is happening now in some places in the world, let me show you what is happening now in some places of the world. Okay, I'm getting letters and emails from people about what? About what is going on in India. And it seems like that there's something more mysterious, something more strange going on there. A sister sends this email. My husband is going through all this as he is procuring oxygen cylinders. 
for his mother for the past few days in Delhi. He stands in line for hours before he can get the cylinder refilled. They have called many hospitals, but no beds are available. So it seems like there is a place in some places in the world. This is something different is happening. Okay. With his own eyes, he is seeing people in queues like himself and people looking for oxygen cylinders. Is it because of a, a something under the sea thing that's going on in the world? Or it's a different uh, thing along with, you know, what's in the airs, the frequencies in the airs that's going on. But some people seem to be targeted. Uh, I've had emails, people talking about certain that Muslims are being specifically targeted. I've lost a close relative yesterday, yesterday, his oxygen level fell. And the daily reports of death are in, in the extended family. And uh, they are all saying oxygen level fell low. Our neighbor has died. Same reason. This is real. Okay. So under this guise and this smoke screen of something that is not really what they're making out to be. But now it seems like something is being brought out slowly that is actually going to affect people in a very, very negative way. Okay. And so now when the Prophet says before the hour, there will be motan. There will be two of these. And by the way, Fauci has talked about two of these, and I'm not going into that right now. But Mautan Yahudu Fikum Kalasil Ghanam, there will be two deaths that will take you like a like the suffocating of the livestock. Now what does it mean when the Prophet says like the suffocating of the livestock? There's a disease very famous called BRD, bovine respiratory disease. BRD is the most devastating disease of the US cattle population. What happens? The animal starts to cough. It's respiratory. Okay. And is tracked. And uh, what are the symptoms? You know, fever, depression, dullness, coughs, shallow breathing, right? What do they all, all sound like? We all know what that sounds like. But it seems like there is a mild version or a, you know, a version that doesn't do anything it's just a mild version of a, a you know whatever this is or or like a more like a little bit more severe version of the flu you can say okay but then if you listen to what some people have been saying okay and in the end like i have been saying they're going to blame the muslims for this whole thing just like they did in 9 11 they're going to blame the Muslims for all of this, but they are going to also target the Muslims and specifically the Arab world. When the Prophet was talking about Qal'as al-Ghanam, he was talking specifically about the Arab world being targeted. So my dear brothers and sisters in the Arab world, you all need oxygen tanks in your house. You need oxygen tanks in your house because if you have enemies, who can take advantage of this smoke screen, you will be targeted. You will be targeted. Okay? It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. It's not it's just a matter of when. We know the Prophet said it'll happen. We know the Prophet called it a killing when you tie in all the ahadis together. Haraj he called it. Okay? And so listen to what they have said previously. Okay? This is what they said. So, uh, an epidemic, either naturally caused or intentionally caused, is the most like an epidemic, naturally caused, or intentionally caused. He says the same thing here. Okay, he says the same thing again rather in his, than a war. Here, not missiles, rather than a war. In the next few decades. It's most likely to be a highly infectious virus rather than a war. Not missiles, but microbes. Now, that will be killing the people. Okay. And so uh, we're in the age of, you can say, bioterrorism. Okay. And uh, this is also a discussion on this issue, but I want to show you this. Please welcome Mr. Bill Gates. 
We also face a new threat that the next epidemic uh, has a good chance of originating on a computer screen of a terrorist intent on using genetic engineering to create a synthetic version of the smallpox virus or a contagious, contagious and highly deadly strain of flu. Okay, did you just hear that? A contagious version of a highly contagious version of the flu. So basically, function gain of the flu virus. Okay, and so when you take what the Prophet said, Sallallahu about hypoxia, not being able to breathe, like the livestock, when you look at the symptoms, when you look at this this uh, situation with this sea thing that's going on, okay, however it's going on, but it does seem like that certain areas are being targeted, and it does seem like that some other areas will be targeted, and what, and what, and many, many Muslims, especially in the Arab world, are going to die, okay? This sea thing is not a plague. It's not a ta'un. Why is it not? Because there are cases in Medina every day. There are cases in Medina. I've shown this many times. There, there are about 1,900 cases every day of around. Seven day average is 1,000 cases a day in Medina. And the Prophet says ta'un can't enter Medina. And the Prophet is truthful, trust me. If he told us about respiratory diseases coming in the future, then he's also told us about the truth of this. This means that it is being handled. It is bioterrorism that is at work here. And if it is bioterrorism, then there is a good chance that what? It can be controlled when it will be lethal, when it won't be lethal, when it will be more lethal, when it will be less lethal, when it will be just a mild flu, when will it be like an aggressive flu? Okay, so I want you to understand this, that uh, besides the fact of what's happening with the women's cycle and how it's affecting people around everybody, everybody is being affected by anyone who takes, you know, the, 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 the prick, right? Anyone who takes the prick becomes affected and is affecting other people, especially women, their cycles are going abnormal, okay? And so when Hajj happens and all the Muslims are there and this thing is affecting our bodies negatively and all the women are there and everyone is there after they take the prick and after that they leave the Hajj and then they go to other parts of the Muslim world, how that will affect everyone, Allah knows. It is a very, very dangerous situation. It is a very, very dangerous situation. Okay? And then, talking about all this, that it is intentional or non-intentional, they will come back around and try to point the finger on who? Just like 9-11. They're going to try to point the finger on the Muslims. And when they point the finger on the Muslims, those will be very, very scary day for Muslims like it was previously in the time of 9-11. Okay, take what I'm saying seriously. You can add, you do your own research. You can add one plus one is two. Look, it's very, very simple and very, very basic logic. Okay, number one, there is a situation out there, the C thing. Okay, in that C thing, that could be used as a smoke screen to actually target people. Okay? I could show you emails about this where Muslims are being, it seems like Muslims are being targeted in specific places. Okay? Professors in a certain, the Aligarh University, I think almost 30 professors have died in just this university setting. Okay? So, it is possible to use the C thing as a smoke screen to target people and they've already exaggerated the numbers but if you don't believe the numbers are exaggerated you still can agree that C thing can be a smoke screen to actually do damage and put it on C right like for example you, you know if the if somebody's uh, 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 house has a fire in it so you kill someone and throw them in the fire it's kind of like that. Maybe that's a bad example. But the point is, C is already there. Now you can do, you can target people and just blame it on C. Because it's not very different. Right? And so, is, do you have enemies? If you have enemies, do they have the technology to do this? Do they have the ability to do this? Do they have the lack of morality to do this? 
if they do have the lack of morality to do this, that to treat you like cockroaches, okay, and to look at you as cockroaches, if they have the ability to do that, do they also have plans to take over your lands? We know what the Greater Israeli Project is. So if they have plans to take over your land, they they have a smoke screen here to affect you if they want. Now they may choose not to, but they have the uh, they have the technology to affect you under this smoke screen as much as they want. And that is a fact. So this is the first uh, logical point. Okay. The second thing is the Prophet said, you will be dying like livestock die. It's the biggest reason livestock die in the U.S. is respiratory disease in, in the livestock. So you'll be dying in large numbers because of this. And it... Uh, so, so we know these two things. What the Prophet said is true. Salam We know that this is not a plague because it's entering Medina. So what is it? It's a bioweapon. And if it's a bioweapon, can they control the bioweapon bio when it is more lethal or less lethal? Well, I think I don't know the answer to that 100% because I don't know 100%. But I assume somebody who makes a bioweapon and wants to create a smoke screen, and then inside that smoke screen, somebody's going to do actual damage, then there will probably, if you're going to release a bioweapon, then you must have uh, some sort of control over it, some mechanisms of control over it, seems logical to me. Um, but either way, it's a dangerous situation Muslims are in, because we already the effect of the prick that we put on ourselves uh, and the way it's affecting the women, you can look this up on the internet, or you can go to my other channel in Odyssey and look up Sheikh Umar Baloch. You can see my videos there. Okay, but this is a serious situation. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video with other people. Please remember that, you know, if we have people who don't like us, who see us as their enemies, then we are in a situation where they can take advantage of us, especially in this Hajj season, especially after the Hajj season, especially with what's going on with the Muslims in India, okay? Especially uh, uh, the, those people who have the technology to affect us through this. So uh, I want to just leave it here for now, inshallah. Uh, I hope, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please read the comment section, okay? And please support my channel. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.